Hey everyone, Ash here, and we are going to finish up this self guided tour, but first... Citizen Plus. Yeah, we'll be coming back to that later. Let's look at, let's look at the statue, shall we? First Citizen Brown, the blind head of Hill Valley, a man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Cannon and his boot-legging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Alright. Can we look at the statue? Having fun, kid? Who said that? Attempting to destroy public landmarks for a violation of the I wasn't trying to destroy it. Take your tough Mary. Yep, and watch, he goes back and... Watch this. This is hilarious. Yep, he goes back and hits it again. That will become important later. I think I already looked at this one, but I'm not sure. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. No, actually I didn't look at that one, but that one's all about the uh, things there. That really is unnecessary. Anyways, let's talk to the... I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, no but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown is a very busy man. The voice sounds familiar. Yep, we'll see who it is later. Oh, and look at this fancy golf cart here. Yep, there's a... Biff? Yep, there's Biff. Doc? And sure enough, there's Doc. Doc, wait! wait. I, I need to talk, talk to you. Yep, unfortunately, uh, unfortunately we weren't able to get to him before he drove his fancy golf cart in. Now, now we should be able to, uh, whoa, I haven't, right, there we go. Now, Biff, if I'm not, yeah, there he is in front of the Citizen Plus table. Biff? Hey, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? By reputation, Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running, impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Citizen Plus program? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? Re-education program? What the hell? Please don't swear, Martin. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh yeah, if that minor swear makes him uncomfortable, I'd hate to see what would happen if I, uh, I'd hate to see what would happen if, uh, Marty dropped anything worse than that. Yep, was that a Doc in the car? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? <laughs> Doc, that should be his new nickname. But no, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... Butthead. You? A, a butthead? No. You, a butthead? No. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble. What with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? 
Uh, yeah. Well, what does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or Bust. Alright, let's talk about, uh... Let's talk about his past for a bit. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Mark, I really don't like dredging up the past. Alright, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. Alright, what about, what about these illegal substances? You said, you said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. Alright, so yeah, no alcohol here? So there's no booze in Hill Valley. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Alright, what about these dogs? Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, no, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. <laughs> sure you are. Sure you are there, Biff. Okay, now what about these women? What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, that's actually kind of harsh. Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Whoops. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Oh, well, I missed the deal. So, uh, yeah, can we see Citizen Brown? We need to talk to him for a little bit. Do you think I'd get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess. Why would you want to act like that? No, uh, we need to talk to him. Speaking of uh, Citizen, Citizen Brown says Plus, let's talk more about that. I want to know more about Citizen Plus. And I just can't wait to tell you all about it. Did I mention the swell digital watch you get with the program? Okay, what about your watch? You said you get some sort of watch. Oh, it's a real classy deal. Just look at this state-of-the-art ticker. It's got all sorts of special modes programmed in. I still haven't figured out how to set the time, but I'm sure a smart guy like you could do it no problem. Alright, so, uh, what does this program do? So what's the point of Citizen Plus? Well, it may not be as noticeable for an upstanding citizen like yourself. But the hypnotherapy sessions help to tame the urges to break the rules. Whoa, whoa. Hypnotherapy? Well, sure, Martin. Why, it makes obedience automatic. Obedience? This is some kind of brainwashing? That's a good way to think about it. Scrubbing all those nasty thoughts right out of your noggin. <laughs> okay, so how do you become one? What do you gotta do to be a Citizen Plus? It starts with an application. They take a complete medical evaluation and give you a stack of contracts to fill out. That sounds boring already. But then you get an appointment with Citizen Brown in about two years. Two years? He's very busy keeping Hill Valley running. The only time he deviates from his schedule is when some Looney Tune is running around racking up demerits. Fortunately, that almost never happens. Until now. It's voluntary, right? Sure, for the pilot program, but eventually it'll be mandatory for everybody. Mandatory? Are you nuts? Nah, I used to be nuts. But now, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, I'm probably the sanest guy in Hill Valley. Alright, yeah, we don't need to be talking anymore about that. Okay, let's stop talking about Citizen Plus right now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, unfortunately I don't have any more time to talk to Biff, but... When we come back, we'll continue talking to Biff, and then, then uh, we'll see about, hopefully talking about, hopefully getting in to see Citizen Brown. Later.